Good morning everybody, what a beautiful morning it is here. Welcome back to Winter Survival. As you can see it has stopped snowing but we still do have snow on the ground. So I'm not sure whether that's going to clear. Let's check the weather. Possibly 10 o'clock we've got sunshine, it is sort of shining now. Oh, and look, at 4 o'clock, we've got snow for a few hours. <laughs> what a surprise. Um, I'm thinking about taking on these three cultivating contracts just to give us a little break from chopping trees down for now, but we will have to come back to that because that is going to be our main source of income. There is some fairly good priced plowing contracts but I'm not a huge fan of using plows but if we have to I will do that so um, out of these three I think this one looks like the biggest cultivator I know it's going to cost us more to lease it but it's going to get the job done quicker on all three I would have thought so if we borrow the items on this one and then accept those two excellent so they are all still there so we've got field 6 10 and 17 I've no idea where they are uh, 6 is there 10 and 17 so why don't we go to the shop and probably drive up to field 6 and we'll work our way down 10 and then 17 and then we are done so I'm going to have to drive down to the shop now I did see Rusty just a minute ago this morning he has run off again. there he is look he does exist people here he is can I give him a little Come on, there we go. Apparently, he's very fond of donuts. So, <laughs> something to remember. Right, um, I know we can't really see his bowl, but let's give him something. I think he likes eating the snow anyway, it's quite refreshing, isn't it? Right, I'm going to head down to the shop. That is quite a long drive, as you very well know. Here he comes, look, that's because I've chucked some food in there. Good boy. Head down to the shop, and I will see you down there. Look at that track over there in the distance. That looks well smart. It does look very cool, this map with all the snow, I must admit. Yeah, I'll see you down at the shop, people, anyway. We'll take a very slow drive. Hopefully we won't slide off and have any accidents. Like that. Right. See you in a bit, folks. Right. Let's go to the shop and pick up this leased equipment. Oh, yeah, that's some decent sized equipment let's park our truck over here like that that would be alright there nice John Deere lovely no weight but that's ok we don't really need it so we need to head up to field 6 Obviously we don't have to do them in that order, but I'm going to. Um, let's just have a quick look on the old PDA. So, if I go left, up to the roundabout, right straight over, then left. That should be roughly something like that. Let's head off on this very frosty morning
we should be okay doing certain contracts in the snow at the end of the day I don't think they'd be on the contract board if we couldn't do that guessing you can't really do much with fields like that though but that maybe was probably one of the ploughing contracts I would have thought look how deep this snow is though crazy right let's try and navigate these roundabouts without knocking any signs down look how beautiful it looks though I'm kind of regretting not playing on Earl and Grat on FS19 now. But here we are. In, well, not even in the middle of the winter, are we? We're right at the very start of winter. But that looks absolutely stunning, look. Rusty's up there somewhere. <laughs> Eating the snow, I expect. Right. Pay attention, we've got a train crossing here because they're not very forgiving. So we need to go right here, that water is freezing I expect. And then I think it's over behind that building somewhere, field 6. We'll double check when we get there. Is that a field there? That's just a grass meadow, isn't it? That's huge. Ah, oh, now we've got a train coming. Mind you, I was going to say it should be pretty instant because you don't get a lot of time once these barriers come down before the train arrives. There we go, that's not too bad. So if we go right, I'll just bring up that map again so yeah just past this building cell point I think that's the animal dealer actually isn't it and is this field over here have we got an entrance here this will do for me so look at this field not even an ounce of snow on it how remarkable. Right. Let's get cracking with this. Oh! <laughs> Got rid of the snow there. On the grass. So obviously, these three are going to take quite a while. Probably turn my beacons off. This is the smallest field though, out of the three. But it is going to bring us in quite a bit of income. Well, more than we're used to at the minute anyway. Now we've got that trailer though, that should be a lot better for getting more logs all of the smaller ones that we have to chop up into small bits because we can't lift them up they can go on the pickup sort of like normal and then the bigger logs hopefully we will be able to um, fill up that trailer and start earning some decent money try and build ourselves up so we're ready to go after winter again obviously that will be the end of this series though when we get to the end of winter but it'll be nice to see how much money we can get I'm not sure how I'll play it actually because do we just be kind of tight with our money and keep hold of it or do we play it as if we were sort of starting up 
I don't know, maybe as if we'd lost everything and we're trying to build ourselves back up again and gradually start buying equipment. If that makes sense. Because I know most of the time I don't make sense. I mean, I will be buying things... Should I say things with a TH, not an F? Things like mowers, if we get that sort of money, because hopefully there will be some times when there's no snow on the ground. And we can quickly do a bit of grass cutting. I don't know. I'm probably getting ahead of myself too much and do a bit of silage bales maybe obviously they're going to take a couple of days to ferment but I think they'll be worth it in the long run who knows just try not to think about it too much and just go with the flow and see where we end up I did have some very nice comments though off of you guys about this series I think it was a good idea it's um, certainly something different. Obviously there is a lot of people doing survival. Whoa, look at that. Sliding out on the snow, that's quite cool. <laughs> yeah, there's quite a lot of people doing different survival modes and challenges. The train's come round again already, look. I haven't been talking that much, have I? And just see the other train in the background going across the big sort of viaduct bridge. Very smart. That one's out of reach so you can't get over there. Oh look at the cable cars. I've never seen them before. To be fair, I haven't really been on this map much. Which I'm guessing you can tell. Let's just go through there. I'm not too worried about lining up. Let's just get it done. What kind of percentage are we at? Um... 47, so almost halfway through. Right, we're almost done on this one. Hopefully any minutes. There we go. That is that. We're not going to do any more. We've got a couple of little strips there left over. So we need to head to the next one, which I think was field 10. So we'll put our beacons back on. And I think that is just straight down this road just got a bit of in cab horrible flickering mirrors go out cab I think um, I think it is probably that one there yeah that is uncovered. Oh, it's got loads of crop in there. Is that withered? What was that? Cotton. Oh no, it's harvested. Oh, at least they actually harvested it then. Right, so 
Um, yes, let's quickly check the map. And the other one is the other side of the road. Um, yeah, it's probably a bit bigger than six, isn't it? Over there somewhere. But what I'll do is I'll probably get these finished. And I'll bring you back in. We'll drive back to the shop with this equipment. Because obviously I'll pick up there. And we'll collect on all the contracts. See where we are at. And then it will probably be have to go all the way back up to the place we live. <laughs> it's not a farm. I keep wanting to say farm. And um, start hacking some trees down again try and bring ourselves a bit more money in as well so yeah I'll carry on with this and I will see you a little bit later on probably just going into lunchtime I would have thought right we're almost done with this one Hopefully any minute as well. Come on. Please. There we go. We're not going to do any more. Missed a couple of little spots there. As you can see, the snow has absolutely vanished. Melted away. We can see a bit of greenery now. How cool. And I've accidentally spent seven euros. <laughs> I was trying to get my thumbnail shot and I put cruise control on, which what I thought was cruise control. Tap the buttons and I accidentally hired a worker. And I was trying to break and I was thinking, why is that not breaking? And I thought, suddenly thought, oh, hang on. So I instantly dismissed them, but it cost me seven euros. Fuming. Anyway, let's head back to the shop. We'll collect on those contracts. We have got snow due again, like I said at the start of the episode. The symbol is up there next to the sun. And it's set around 4pm. So that is a little bit annoying. Right. If we go, in fact, I might do something a bit different. I think we can cut through these fields. Oh, that bird almost came through the windscreen then. And then right here, the shop is literally just over there. You can't see it because it's behind that mirror. And then left, I think, at the bottom. Making sure nothing's coming. There's something coming. We should be able to pull out in front of them. There we go. And then it'll be a left again. Just here. Look, the sun's out and they're walking around as if it's summer. Come on, guys. We can actually go here. Oh, that's um, the exit. Couldn't see that sign earlier because of the snow. And then in here. And we'll just park up over there, I think. Beacons off, engine off. Thank you very much. Right, so let's collect all of those. So we got hit by 891 on that one, but that's cool. Look at that, we're up to 8,815. Happy days. Now, I didn't say anything about leasing, we can lease, that wasn't part of the rules, it was just no mods, and we're obviously on hard economy and everything like that, fuel usage, 
Although I still do not think, because obviously we're going to need a tractor. The cheapest, smallest tractor that is going to run a mower. I tell you what, these are good little workhorses. I reckon that could... Mind you, we need to be careful of the horsepower. Let's have a look at the mowers first. Plus, are we actually going to get any mowing done before it starts snowing again? So this guy here is the cheapest, which is a front mower. Now, I know it would take quite a long time, but I wouldn't have a problem with just using that because that will kind of help us because it will leave it in a swath, but obviously it will take quite a long time to get that mowed. That's going to cost us 484. These are all kind of getting out of our price range. What would that be out of interest? 1275 and of course after that we could need a baler one that wraps yeah I think it's all a bit out of our reach so far because what is the cheapest bell wrapper that is that one and that is four grand to lease Hmm, it probably is doable. I think we'll probably have to just cup, uh, cup, cut a few trees down first. And maybe a look to do that next episode. What is the weather forecast like? Snow, obviously. Oh, December the 5th, we might get to do some mowing. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, I think we will leave that idea for a minute because... It's going to hurt my brain a little bit trying to work out whether we can afford to lease everything. I don't really want to start mowing and then it's going to snow and lay again. And yeah. It's going to be a bit tricky. Put ourselves right in it here, haven't we? Or I have. Right, I'm going to head up back home and i'll see you back up there and we'll have to get the old chainsaw out i think right so we are back up here it's quite cool you can see some of the fields from here now the snow's all cleared beautiful i just had a spot of lunch inside there's rusty look roaming around in our grass as you can see the top right the money has gone down a little bit because I changed my mind, I had a little bit of a brainwave coming up here, and I got a little surprise. Ta da! <laughs> I've leased all of this just because I think it's going to be better in the long run for us because we should be able to pick up longer lengths, put them on that trailer. Otherwise, we're going to have to be chopping them all up so we can handball them. And that is going to take longer. We're going to not get as much money because they're smaller logs. Because obviously, that's how it works. The longer the length, you get more money. So, I went for... It'd be quicker to show you in the shop. First of all, I'll show you how much I spent. So, far right... If you can see it, vehicle leasing costs 3417 It's cost for all of this equipment. Um, I kind of went for the smallest tractor I could that would have a front loader on it. But I did put the horsepower up to maximum. I'll show you what we've got. But I'm pretty confident we will make that back on the first load. So, first of all, what I went for is this Massey Ferguson which I think is the Alpine version which is obviously right up our street I think that's what the AL stands for so that was um what was that I went for the 70 no I didn't I went for the 95 horsepower which is the highest and the front loader that was 2779 and then from there we went 
and got ourselves a front loader we went for this guy which was eight grand well eight grand to buy then i obviously got the log fork for the front loaders and i got ourselves a pretty hefty weight as well and i went for this guy so that should weigh the back end right down when we pick up any hefty logs so we're going to put it to the test we'll cut that tree down first i think we'll go for this one and then i think what i'm going to do is bring that trailer over and try and size up how long the trailer is and roughly cut our logs to that length that's probably just gone straight on that tractor oh well it's not ours is it imagine that returning the tractor with a flat roof let's just whiz through this da 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 oh something like that I can't even see the end because it's all overgrown about there would do right so that was a pretty good sweep let's just move that out of the way I'll probably put that round the other side of the tree actually yeah I think this will pay off in the long run obviously it depends how long we keep the tractor for as well I guess and if there is a sort of bit of a long term lease let's try not to run old Rusty over stay there boy right if I kind of line up something like that where's the end of that tree so roughly there it's not too far off if we went something like that and then I should be able to pick that up and use it as a bit of a marker stick if that makes sense if I grab that end and pull it up roughly to there um, the trouble is the grass is going to put a bit of a problem isn't it it's a bit long so this is still going to take a little while so I probably will be doing some off camera I'm not even sure if I'll do a time lapse yet We'll see how it ends up when I edit it because obviously we have recorded a fair bit so far in the series or oh, not series this episode you know what I mean but I am interested to see how much we make off of one load but the question will be how much can we fit on that trailer because obviously there is no sides to it so it could be a bit tricky we probably won't be able to go too high I did think of I know I said no mods and I'm I am going to stick to it but there was a really handy which would be in very handy for us right this minute cheap as well log trailer that came out a few days ago I just thought that would be cool if we could have had that right now I could have loaded that right out but I've said no mods and I am going to have to stick to that now I mean we could where is forestry equipment we could get something like one of these guys that's a bit pricey that one one of those and load it up we we'll just have to keep moving the crane out of the way i wouldn't use the crane because that would take forever and i'm absolutely rubbish on them i'm not that great with the tractor with the front loader to be honest with you in fs19 i used to do 
all my login with the CSZ pack and the big bag lifter with the tension straps on it. I just used to find that was so much easier doing forestry and picking up logs with that. And I know I'm not the only one that does it like that or did it like that. Oh, that would do. I'm not going to cut that off. But I have heard that we're going to keep that bit, I think, as our marker. The CSZ pack is supposed to be coming over to FS22, I have heard. So that would be very interesting. Right. Moment of truth where it's probably all going to go wrong. And everything I've just said to you is going to look absolutely stupid. Right, if we go up and down like that. Ooh, see, look, that's already some weight on there. I'm glad we went for that. What's it going to be like when we're facing down the hill? <laughs> yeah, you just sit there and watch Rusty. I wouldn't come anywhere near this tractor because there is potential for it to tip over, especially with me at the wheel. Right, so... Um, there we go. Let's just roll that back a bit. Right, that's a long, thick piece we've got there. Happy with that. Let's try and get another bit. I'll probably just do a couple more and then I'll carry on recording and like I say, I'll see what happens with the editing because I'm by no means an expert of this so it's going to be a slow process it could be even too slow for a time lapse so I'll keep recording it possibly could be a time lapse when you see it or it will be a jump cut and I'm not sure how much we're going to get on this um, trailer probably going to just chuck a strap over that just to hold them look at those size of those that is awesome i'm happy with that so let's grab one more are we going to get one more chunky bit on there or should we go a bit thinner let's try one more chunky bit they are getting thinner as we're going down I find it easier to pick the logs up by sort of coming over the top of them like that and then clamping instead of going in sort of like a pallet fork shoveling it. I just find it a bit easier like that myself. Not to say it's going to be the same for everyone, just a personal opinion. up and tilt and open our jaws up yes yes I'll tell you what I'm making it look like I know what I'm doing but trust me I don't so that's three good lengths on there and they are chunky boys so I'm gonna fill the trailer up possibly might chop another tree down and I shall see you at some point but so far touch wood I'm going to have to touch one of these aren't I <laughs> it's going quite well I've cursed it now I've said that
Look at this guys. That is two trees on there. And we've got some really good sized logs. I'll put a couple on the pickup like that as well. I'm gonna as you can see it's just started snowing. It was pretty much bang on um, four o'clock, so the forecast was pretty accurate. Put some straps on here because I don't want any accidents could possibly topple over I hope not so much easier with that I think it was a wise move um, moving forward but we're going to go down and see how much we can make from this I hope it's quite a bit I just hope we don't have any accidents so I'm going to take a steady drive down and I've just checked we've cut two trees down which we've obviously got on here last episode we cut down three trees and obviously we were only using the pickup so they were smaller pieces so this will sort of compare how well we've done in terms of money because last episode let's just double check before we sell these if we look right at the bottom, we made 8,146, and that was off of three good sized trees, and just having them, whoa, 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 it's that band driver again, go on buddy, if I let them pass, hopefully you won't come across any, oh here we go, spoke too soon. I do not want to be coming up against anyone going around these corners. Please, can we get there safely? What was I saying? Um, oh, here we go, look. Every man and his son's coming up here now. Yeah, so three loads, obviously cutting them up into small chunks because as most of you will know the longer the lengths of your timber your logs the more money you're going to get so this could prove a point point. and what are we thinking guys well, we should definitely get over 10 grand if we get somewhere around 15 i would be very very happy with that but I'm not going to take these straps off because I'm worried about them falling everywhere so we'll just park up, turn the engine off the moment of truth whoa that's pretty good 11,294 I'm happy with that so I think it definitely paid off to lease the tractor because that obviously allowed us to get the longer lengths to earn more money but I think we'll probably leave it there for that episode and what I will probably do is it is getting a little bit dark now because of the snow which is annoying because I don't really want to have that track to leased overnight although we may have to if we're not using it we shouldn't get charged the per hour fee I don't think um, but that could come in handy that tractor if we want to do a bit of mowing so we'll see what happens but I will do some more cutting down of the trees whilst I still can but what I'll do is at the very start of the next episode I'll show you that so that you can see I've actually done it and what sort of money we've earned from it so if that was just off of two trees if I can cut down at least another four that'll be good but we'll see what happens I'll try and get as many cut down as I can I know it's not showing you in sort of an episode but if we can sort of move forward you know that'd be good so I'll see what I can do before it gets too dark and um, yeah I think we'll leave it there money's gone right up pretty good we can look at some more contracts if possible over the next couple of episodes and hopefully like I say we'll try and get some grass cut 
and see if we can get some sort of bales done, some, maybe some silage bales, I don't know, but we will see. But I hope you have all enjoyed episode 2 of Winter Survival. If you have, please give us a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then please do. And don't forget to hit that, yeah, hit that notification bell. That's better. So you don't miss any future episodes of mine. I've been Farm Sim Snowy. Stay frosty.